Hello, good morning, good evening to all you beautiful people from across the globe. How have you been? The thought for the day is titled, Sharpen Your Axe. Once, there was a very strong woodcutter who sought for a job with a timber merchant and he got it. The pay was really good and so was the work condition. For those reasons, the woodcutter was determined to do his best. His boss gave him an axe and showed him the area where he was supposed to work. The first day, the woodcutter brought down 18 trees. Congratulations, the boss said. Go on that way. Very motivated by the boss's words, the woodcutter tried harder the next day, but he could bring down only 15 trees. The third day he tried even harder, but he could bring down only 10 trees. Day after day he was bringing less and less trees. I must be losing my strength, the woodcutter thought. He went to the boss and apologized, saying that he could not understand what was going on. When was the last time you sharpened your axe? The boss asked. Sharpen? I have never had the time to sharpen my axe. I have been very busy trying to cut trees. You see, our lives are like this. We sometimes get so busy that we don't take time to sharpen the axe. In today's world, it seems that everyone is busy and busier than ever, but less happy than ever. Why is that? Could it be that we have forgotten how to stay sharp? There is nothing wrong with activity and hard work, but we should not get so busy that we neglect the truly important things in life, like our personal life, taking time to get close to our Creator, giving more time for our family, taking time to read, and doing things that we like. We all need time to relax, to think, to meditate, to learn and grow. If we don't take the time to sharpen the axe, we will become dull and lose our effectiveness. Keep sharp your sensibilities and also keep yourself updated. Monotony in life tends to make you dull and dissipated. Discover your potential and grow yourself to be the smart personality you are intended to be. On that note, this is Geeta signing off from IamMariamHere.com wishing you an energetic and beautiful day where you prove your efficiency in the best way possible. Take care. Bye-bye. And a big God bless.